Jesus Christ came on earth to bring the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God is the kingdom of Jesus Christ here on earth. He is the king and we are the people in the kingdom of God. So he is the king and he governs us in the kingdom of God. The Bible is the book that describes the laws, the regulations, the legislation, the instructions that we are to learn and abide by in the kingdom of God. It is not the kingdom of the world. It is, it is not the democracy that human beings without the Almighty God have put in place. It is the, the theocracy. It is the government of God in his people on the earth. And we believe the words of Jesus Christ. We believe the Ten Commandments. He said, thy shall not kill, thy shall not steal, thy shall not commit adultery. All of those laws and those commandments we abide by, we believe. When we go to the New Testament, Jesus says, and he promised us, whosoever shall believe on me will have eternal life. Whosoever believes on me will have no condemnation, but has passed from death to life, and he will be free in Christ. So we also believe his words. So everything he says, because Jesus Christ is the truth, everything he says is his instruction for us to operate and to live in the kingdom of God. Now, one of those instructions, Jesus says that bring your first fruits, bring all your first fruits into the house of the Lord, that it may cause the blessing to rest upon your house. Bring all your tithes, bring, bring your offerings, give to the priest so that the work of the Lord continues. Test me on this, says the Lord, that I will not, if I will not open up the window of heaven and pour out a blessing on you that you will not be able to contain it. So the word of God, it is equal, equal and truthful across everything. So if you believe the Ten Commandments, if you believe Jesus' instruction about believing in him and having everlasting life, when he tells you give, bring your tithing, bring your offering into the house of the Lord he, to cause the blessing to come upon your house, he also equally and truthfully means that as well. Bring your first fruit, bring your 10%, and the blessing will rest upon your house. But for some reason, while we accept the Ten Commandments, while we accept our gift of eternal life, we do not always honor the Lord with our substance, with giving, with money. And some people watching this might say, oh, you just want your money. No, I do not want your money because I'm not telling you to give to me. I am telling you to give to the work of the Lord wherever in the world you are. So at the, the local church you go to so that the blessing of the Lord will come upon your house. Jesus Christ is truthful and he instructs us that if we give, if we honor him with our first fruits, he will, he will bless our house and he will rebuke the devourer. He will rebuke the devils trying and coming to, to steal the fruit of our work. So he will rebuke the devourer for us. But it comes with the precondition of us bringing our first fruits, our tithes and our offerings to the house of the Lord, wherever you are in the world, so that the work of the Lord might continue. So if you believe his words, you have to believe every word. If you obey Jesus Christ, you have to obey him fully in all ways. Some of you might say, oh, this is the Old Testament. This is not true. Jesus Christ said when he was on the face of the earth, he said, do not do it like the Pharisees who only tight, but they don't show meekness, righteousness, kindness, and love. These do, so do what they tell you, give 
the, the tithing, give the offering, says Jesus, but add to it love, kindness, gentleness, brotherly love, all the fruits that come from himself being in you. The word of the Lord is eternal and is truth. So if you give, if you bring your first fruits, the blessing will be upon your house.